What's up guys, it's Dante AKA Game Fit Fit of All Games set back giving you another drama script and if you're new here to drama script it, this is a wrestling show where I go over the most notable things that happened over the past weekend. But how I start off on every drama script it, I start off with the ratings and we got Raw with 1.3 million, we got NXT 2.0 with Becky being a Grand Slam champion, ratings jumped all the way up to 850k and then we got AEW Dynamite with Triple H's. 100k so going into the major news of this week or, or last week uh jay cargill's contract has expired with aew and she is a free agent and there's been heavy motion and rumors that uh she will be working with wwe in the nxt brand and then rumors already going out today that she's already started working with creative to see where she will fit or do within the NXT program. Um, so I'm I'm kind of interested to see where they're gonna fit Jade. Uh, she what she was like what 65 and 0 or 61 and 0 before before losing her before losing her her first match and. Losing the belt to Chris Statlander. And they had a uh, fantastic send home match for Jade Cargill's last AEW match on um, Jade's Cargill show Rampage. Because the vast majority of all her matches were on Rampage or on AEW Dark. So that was a nice uh, send home match. Obviously, Chris, Stanler, Chris Statlander won because she's still your uh, TBS champion. And what, leave in the comment sections below what feud you think you'll be interested in seeing um, Jade in. Uh, it'd be remarkable if they just throw her in a program with, with Tiffany Stratton, but it's like Jade's coming in, so she would need to win, and Tiffany's just coming off of a huge loss to Becky, so Tiffany really doesn't need to really lose. But let's see what Shawn Michaels and the team and the NXT camp figures out to do with Jade if she indeed is signing with WWE. Another major news that happened last week, the PWI top 500 list was released. I'm probably just going to go over the top 20 names. For those of you that don't know, it's the the list really it's a a PWI they they rank the top 500 wrestlers. And it's based on this criteria, wins and losses, championships won, quality of the competition, major feuds, uh, prominence within wrestlers promotion, overall wrestling ability. And the period is from July 1st, 2022 till July 1st, 2023. So I'm going to just go over top 20. Um, I will leave a link in the list below that gives you the full... 500 names so we i'll do i'll do 10 to 1 so number 10 cody rhodes wwe number nine josh alexander um tna impact number eight orange cassidy aew uh number seven rainmaker new japan for wrestling number six mjf aew um el hydro del volcano uh triple a the the, uh, the the Mexico organization, um, number four Gunther, WWE number three John Moxley AEW number two the Big Dog Roman Reigns WWE and number one the Architect the the future has become the present the Seth Rollins is number one on this list uh i'll go 11 through 20. Uh, 11 is santa uh 12 is claudio cassinoni roh slash aew uh carmelo hayes wwe because nxt samoa joe roh slash aew uh mosca somas brian danielson AEW, Will Ospreys, that I don't really agree with 17 on here, but Will Ospreys is 17, that's New Japan for Wrestling. Uh, Alex Stanner Hammerstone, number 20. Bobby Lashley, sorry, Alex Hammerstone, number 18. Bobby Lashley's number 19. And Trell, Trey um, Miguel is 20. 
And 21 is Kevin Owens, and 22 is Sami Zayn. Other high notables on this list, Kenny Omega's 25. He was injured the vast majority of the process, the evaluation. Uh, Chris Jericho's 24. Uh, Adam Page is 28. Um, Zach Onsbray is 36. Kenta is 40. Austin Theory is 45, I guess, because he really wasn't involved in anything. Uh, Darby Allen's 49. Edge is 50. Rey Mysterio's 53. Sheamus is 54. You know, those are some notable names. I'm just scrolling down the list. Technically, I gave you top 22. That was your top 22 list. A couple of things that... Like, to, in my opinion, the, the 1 through 4, and technically you could say, well, 1 through 6. 1 through 6 is right. I believe, I just feel, I feel like uh, Sammy should be higher. Definitely Will Ospreay. Definitely Will Ospreay should at least be top 15. He's out of, Will Ospreay is out of the the top 15. That's... That that's crazy to me. Sami Zayn out of top twenty is kind of insane too because of the whole bloodline um, story thing. Uh, but those are the Carmella Hayes is in a good spot. Samoa Joe, uh, Claudio's Claudio's in a good spot as well. But I just that's really my major is like Will Ospreay and Sami Zayn out of out of top fifteen. But that's pretty much it the list is this is probably the most agreeable list i've agreed with in a very very long time it's just really those that are out of place um but the shield is on top this is i think this is the first time where all three shield members were got the top three spots and all of the top shield members um have been number one on this list so obviously last year was Roman, and I think two years ago before that it was John Moxley, and now it's Seth Rollins, and now they have the one, two, and three spots. So the Shield, the Shield is running wrestling, even though two out of three of them are still on WWE. John Moxley's on AEW, but the, the Shield is is running sports entertainment. Uh, please leave your thoughts on the list that you would like to ride. How would you want top 10 or top 20 to play out? You can put that in the comment section below me here on YouTube. And until next week, guys, there will always be a drama scripted. And I'm Dante, aka Game Fee from All Games, and I'm out of here. Later, and peace. Be safe, everyone.